Hey everybody, this is Jason, Colorado Mountain Man Survival. I'm out at camp today with Matt. Matt's gonna show you a very underrated skill and that's gonna be knot tying. Let's get knotty. <laughs> Okay, so knot tying, I guess, really isn't an, an underrated skill. It's an under-practice skill. And if you, knowing a knot and knowing how to use a knot are two different things. So having a practical application for a knot will really help you learn what you need to do with it or learn how you tie it. Say we're doing a figure eight knot. Figure eight knot's a great knot to know, but if you don't know how to use it, it does you no good. But we're gonna show you three different knots for this tarp shelter. All right, so first we're gonna do the uh, event hitch. Um, this is just a really good starter knot um, because once you tie something off, it's not gonna, it's not a slip knot, it doesn't move around on you. Um, it's called the event hitch after a, a tribe in Siberia, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, another advantage of this is how they used to tie off their reindeer apparently. So you can actually do this with thick mittens on uh, without having to take your mittens off and get your fingers cold. So we're gonna take the tail end. I've already got it attached to my tarp. I'm gonna come around the tree. All right, so I got my tail end. I'm gonna have the other end here next to my thumb. I'm gonna come across the tail end by my fingers. Make one loop. I'm gonna keep a little bit of tension on that. I'm then going to take my hand out and rotate it over and grab that tail that I had wrapped around my fingers and pull it through. Okay. And then you're just gonna take and kind of tighten that up, slide it down. And that is secured. And if I ever want to get that loose, it's very easy to take out. One pull and you're done. So I'll do that again real quick. So I've got the tarp and the, the other end here, I've got my working end of my tail, All right? So I've got them both together. Bring the tail end around your hand once. Pull up and over, grab the tail end again, and pull it through. Like so. Right. so. This is called a tarp taut line hitch um, because if you just tie off another knot, it's just going to be you know, like a, a slippery half hitch or an overhand or something like that. See all this slack you've got here, which you don't necessarily want. You want, if you're looking for a nice tight ridge line, you're going to take and go around the tree once and you're going to come back around that line. And this way you can actually, you know, even if I've got a fair bit of slack in this at this point, I can make that as tight as I want and taut like that. So I've come around and I'm tensioning the line against itself. So just very simply come up and over or you could go down and around. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I've got that as tight as I want it. I'll just come back over and I will do like a slippery half hitch or something on this end that's nice and easy to get loose without a whole lot of muss and fuss. I don't want to have to cut my line or anything like that. So I'll just kind of just do Something like this. I could actually tie it off like so, but that makes it harder to get loose a little bit, but not bad. That's still quick release. All I gotta do is pull that tail to get that out. And again, if you are worried about this working itself loose, you could just, you know, pull this out, tie another one in line real loosely, like so. That'll help prevent it. You could stick a toggle through there to where it would choke up. I mean, that's all personal preference. So it's gonna take and that's out. So we're gonna tighten that up as much as you want. I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna double the tail end. Just come over like that. And so I've still got that doubled end. I'm just gonna do it again through here. Like I said, you can actually just go ahead and Pull like that, and that works well enough. And if you want, I'll just take and put another toggle in. So we'll just take and stick the toggle through that loop, and then pull like we're going to untie it until that toggle locks in. Now, no matter how hard I pull on this, really, it's not going to pull loose until I pull that stick out. Right. So bonus knot, actually. We're just gonna take and do an overhand. I have to attach some small cordage to the uh, the tail ends there, the grommets. 
So I'm going to take and just fold that over. And we're just going to bring that over itself. And I'm just forming a loop. Like that. Kind of work that down. Tighten everything up. So that's a nice fixed loop. And all we're going to do is put that through the grommet and then run the tail end through and attach the, the line to the tarp itself. So I know it's like a very common knot, but what do you call that knot for people that don't? Uh, I, I call it like just a doubled up overhand or yeah. an overhand. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to take our loop, that fixed loop. We're just going to run it through the grommet. And I'm not even going to try to run the full knot through. I'm going to take the tail end, run it through the loop, pull it down. And if you have enough slack, bring that knot back through the loop so it's not binding up on you. But close, but no cigar, but it doesn't have to be perfect. So that's just a quick, easy way to put your put guy lines and stuff or attach things to these tarps. If you don't want to actually tie a knot on there and have this semi-permanently attached, all you got to do is just pop it off and pull it off. There's no big deal. All right. So we're going to come back here. We're going to guesstimate. Of course, I'm going to be right in the... I'll come over here to the ground. Dry our ground a little bit. It's probably still frozen down in there. So this is about where I want my oops, <laughs> this is where I want my my stake here, probably right around in there. Um, I also am going to drive my stake in at an angle, uh, so even if it is pulling on it, I can always cut a notch to keep the the line on there. But this adds a lot more strength instead of like tying or, or pounding a stake down straight like that. You have a lot of risk of something being able to come untied or just pulling your stake over and then losing all your tension. So I always like to drive my stakes at an angle away from whatever it is that I'm uh, going to be attaching. So that's about where I want it. Take a baton or a rock. Oops. That's plenty good. So go ahead and quickly do this on the other side. Have this about there. All right. So this is actually one of my new favorite knots. Um, you know, before when I was getting into hammock camping and things like that, I was getting the little, uh, like the little carabiners that have got the little tail pieces on where you just have to like run the rope through and pull it tight and they've got teeth and they kind of grip and all that. But that is extra hardware. That is an extra expense. There's nothing wrong with those if that's the way you want to go instead of trying to remember a knot. But this eliminates the need for those. So if I wanted to, I could take a saw or my knife and cut more of a straight line across the stake. It's not necessary, but it does help sometimes. And then I'm gonna kind of cut a reverse seven notch, or it is a seven notch, it's just reversed to me because I'm upside down. Being very careful whenever you cut towards yourself, I'm not putting much pressure on this at all. I'm just kind of creating an indent that that guy line is not gonna wanna come up over. See, if you can kind of see that, all I did was kind of carve a little divot into the stick there. Like so. So what you're gonna do, and it doesn't really matter which way you run this, but you're gonna just come around your stake in that loop. Doesn't have to be super tight right now. So I've got the lines back up by one another. Here's the tail end. I need to pinch that. You can go either way, but I'm bringing the tail around your other line there, and I'm just gonna pinch it so it's not moving around on me. And I'm now going to wrap the tail between the lines around the one that goes to your, I'm not wrapping the tail around itself. I'm wrapping the tail around the piece that goes back to your tarp. And uh, you know you can do three, you can do four, five. Um, I like to put about four or five in there just for a little bit of peace of mind, but I'm literally just wrapping it around. Keep a little tension on that so it doesn't get away from you. And now that I've got a couple of wraps in there, I can actually take my finger off so you can see the tail in this case goes over and then starts wrapping around between themselves. And then what I'm gonna to do to tie this off is I'm gonna then bring that final wrap around both. And again, just do like a little slippery hitch or half hitch or something like that. And I'm gonna tighten that down pretty well. Kind of cinch the knot together. And so, I mean, that's okay. That's not badly tensioned, but the real beauty of this is that I grab the, the end here and I can either pull this knot, it's a bit like a prussic, where the rope binds around itself, so I'm grabbing that knot, 
this side. And I can actually slide it up. And as long as I've gotten everything tensioned down pretty well, you can see that's not really, I can pull pretty darn hard on this and it's not moving that knot at all unless I want it to. So you simply pinch on the knot itself and you can slide that down to loosen things up or you can slide it back up. It is a bit tight there. I should pull that off like so. Once I've got a little bit of that tension out, you can just slide that up as far as you want. And then when it's time to strike camp, again, well, you've got that little tail, that loop there. You just have to take and pull. At least you should if you did it right. Which I think I just screwed myself up. Oh, there we go. Somehow, there we go. Just didn't pull hard enough. Yeah, apparently. I had, I had something looped over where it wasn't supposed to. But all I did was pull on that tail, essentially. And you can just pull that off. You're good to go. No hardware, no permanent knots in your line. Easy peasy. One more time. Okay. So, we'll come around. I'll try to do this the same way I did it before so I don't confuse people. So bring the tail end up. Pinch them together temporarily. In this case, again, I'll just go, I'll go over. Actually, I'll pinch that there so I'm not trying to go over my thumb. And I'm simply going to wrap between the two around the line that goes to your tarp. Again, like three, four, five. I, I really don't see any point in going above five. I mean, because three or four seems to hold well enough. So once I've got as many wraps around this line as I want, this is the tail end here. Once I'm satisfied, I'll then just bring everything around both. I'll bring the tail around both ends and then just kind of run a piece through. Okay, good. Talk about this knot that you're okay. tying right now a little bit more. So again, this is as far as I know, it's called a slippery half hitch. So it's almost like an overhand, but I'm not bringing this tail all the way through. I'm creating a, a loop. So see, it's kind of an overhand. If I were to bring that all the way through, that's an overhand, but that's a pain in the butt to get untied. So let's start over again. Bring it over in this case. Instead of pulling the tail all the way through, you're just gonna do like so. And again, you're kind of just gonna pull tight on everything, make sure it's all tensioned up. And then if I want to adjust this down, I simply grab the, the working in, or the working piece. If I want the tarp to be more tight, more taut, put that back on my notch there. I'm gonna grab not the tail end that we wrapped around and wrapped around itself, because I could I could pull on that all day. All it's doing is making that knot tighter. It's not going to do me any good. All right, so again, if I want to tighten that up, this was the tail side, so I'm not going to grab onto that. That's the part that goes to the knot. I'm going to grab the piece here and simply pull. I got that knot pretty tight, so I have to give it a bit of force to pull that up. But it binds on itself like a prussic. So like I said, that's I could probably pull that stake clear out of the ground or break it before that thing moves. All right, so come back in front of this thing and let's talk about these knots. Okay. All three or all 27 of these knots. Yep. You use what kind of knot right here? Uh, this is just two overhands. So two overhands. This is? That is the event hitch. All right, okay. Just another overhand two, knot? Two overhands, yeah, just temporary. Yep. So what is this? Uh, I call it the tar uh, tarp taut line hitch. Yeah. It, but it's coupled in with? A toggle. Uh, well, no. What's this knot called? Oh, and then that would be another, like, a slippery half hitch. All right. That's how I know them anyway. So, again, this is just another... This was a fixed loop that I ran through and then ran the tail end through the loop. So that's easier to get on and off instead of tying the line directly to the tarp and then having to undo the knots. You just have to just undo that loop. And then you this was called again? Uh, this is just, uh, well... Uh, I call it just a tensioner, a tensioner knot. And then tied a up. A guy line tensioner. Tied up with. With a half hitch. Right. So there you go. So we just learned like 47 different knots here just to tie up a, sh a shelter. So there's some really. Here. So Matt did a good job, right? Give him a hand. But yeah, <laughs> I, there's all these knots tied in here. You can use the same knot really on every single one of them. Um, you're gonna well at least for these ones 
you could use this tensioner knot here you could use the taut line on everywhere but really just seeing those different knots in practical uses is really going to help you learn how to tie these knots sit down in front of the tv tie a couple of these and then get out in the woods and tie it over and over and over again until it sticks in your head you're not going to learn it just tying it once you're not going to learn it in your living room the only way you're really going to learn it is if you come out in the woods and throw these shelters up yep and that's exactly what i do i sit there in front of the tv and just start tying the knot over and over and over again until i get it right until i can pretty much do it with my eyes closed really um it's not like I said. It's not necessarily an underrated skill because everybody knows that they need to know how to tie knots. They just don't know how to put them in a practical like application. So hopefully you learned something today. Thanks for joining us. I'll see you again next time. All right. So we're gonna do the event hitch. Can you check me for earwax while you're back there? <laughs> so I've got my tail end. I've gone from my left to my right around the pole I'm trying to tie off to. Okay. Bring both pieces over. The tail end is towards my fingers. I'm going to bring that around my fingers one time. I'm going to then kind of keep tension on both ends. The, the tail end is still on my right. I'm going to bring my hand with that loop under, go over the top and grab the tail end and pull part of it through while still maintaining a grip on both sides. Stiff rope, but I'm going to just take and work that down like so. And that is now attached. Even though the knot looks like it separated a bit, it is plenty sturdy. That's not going anywhere. And then to undo, you simply grab your tail end, see where that loop is, pull the tail end, gone. Okay, so we're gonna do that, uh, what I'm calling the, tar the tarp taut line hitch. I still can't say that. Anyways, all right, so got my end to my, whatever it is I'm trying to tie off, got my tail end. I'm gonna come around the tree, all right? I'm then gonna go over or under, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go around that with the tail and I'm gonna pull back until there's enough, as much tension as I want on that, until it's as taut, hence tarp taut line hitch, as I want. I'm then gonna then come around the tree again with the tail, and if you want, you can actually go over the piece that's already wrapped there to kind of bind it against the tree. That helps a bit, like so. I'm gonna come back over, I'm gonna go over the top, and you see I've kind of made this diamond here, this triangle. I'm going to take and bring part of the tail through. I'm not going to bring it all the way through. I'm going to bring a loop through. This is kind of a stiff rope. It's better with a smaller, more limber rope. And then I can also just bring that through again, like so, to have it be nice and quick release. So again, I can pull on that super hard. It's not going anywhere. But if I want to get it loose, simply grab your tail end, pull through, unloop, good to go. Okay. So now we're going to do that tensioner knot for your guy lines. So I'm going to come around my quote unquote stake, right? Got my tail end. I'm going to just come up here a little ways. I'm going to pinch, right? Got my tail end. I'm going to then start wrapping, not around itself. I'm going to wrap around the other end of the line there. Two, three, well, I wouldn't go two. I'd go three to five times. Somewhere in there. Probably good enough, right? Bring all those coils I made up. So again, this is the tail. This is the tail. The tail does not wrap around itself. This is whatever I'm trying to tension to. All right, and then to tie it off, I'm gonna go around both to pinch them together and just tie pretty much whatever you want. I like, like I said, the little slippery half hitches where I can just pull one string and I'm good. So then to tension it, again, tail side here. If I wanna tighten it that way, I grab the knot and push the knot up. If I wanna remove tension, I grab my end, pinch the knot, and work the knot back that way. But once the thing is tensioned up like that, I can go ahead and pull without destroying the shelter. That's not going anywhere. And then to get it loose, simply just undo what you did, and you're done.